All right, I want to start by giving all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone. Salutations to the elect out there, wherever you may be. All right, I want to do a quick lesson through the Spirit. All right, I just want to let the Spirit flow. So I'm going to start in Psalms 27 and just read and just let the Spirit guide me during this lesson. All right, here we go. It says right here in the heading, it says a psalm of fearlessness, fearless trust in Yahweh. And we know Psalms, it talks about David. You know, these are the Psalms of David, King David. All right. Verse one, it says a psalm of David. It says, uh, the Lord whose name is Yahweh is my light and my salvation. You see? So the light. And the light is what? Another a precept of that is a scripture that says the commandments are a lamp and the law is light. See, the law of the Lord is perfect. It converts the soul, you see. So King David followed the laws of the Lord. You see, that was his light that guided him. I think that verse is in Psalms. The commandments are a lamp and the law is light. Let me, as a matter of fact, let me look it up. The law is, let's see, it's going to say the law is light. Let's see. Uh, here we, no, it's in Proverbs. All right, this is Proverbs 6 and 23. It says, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. And reproofs of instruction are the ways of life, you see? So King David, he followed the law of the Lord. You see, that was a light. The Lord is his light. He, it, The Lord is his way to what? To keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. All right, let's keep reading. It says, uh, let's see, it says, uh, whom shall I fear? As a matter of fact, let's start over. The Lord is my light my salva and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord, whose name is Yahweh, is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Verse 2, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come up, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. You see, and King David had a lot of enemies. Even some of his own people were his enemies. You see. All right. There's a precept in the Bible. It says, among my people are found wicked men. So a lot of our people, they're just wicked. But the most I preserved them to where his enemies, they couldn't prevail against them, you see. All right, let's keep reading. All right, verse three. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. Because what? His confidence is in the Lord. His confidence is in the Lord. The Lord fights for him as the Lord fights for all those that trust in him you see all right let's keep reading verse 4 it says one thing have I desired of the Lord that I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life you see and that's the what the inner courts that's this what the secret place this truth all right, to behold the beauty of the Lord, to inquire in his temple. You see, let's keep reading. All right, verse five. It says, let's, let me adjust the camera. I'm holding my phone. It says, uh, for, in the, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. You see, and it's going to be even what? Jacob's trouble, you know. The Most High is going to preserve the elect. He's going to keep them safe. In the secret of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me up on a rock, you see. And that goes into what? The elect also are going to be hid in the secret, in the secret of his tabernacle. They're going to be hid in the chariots, you see. Come up hither. Hide thyself where, where it before a little moment until the indignation pass, you see. So the Lord is going to preserve the elect. And King David, you know, 
He may be here doing their time, or he may come back, you know, with the rest of the saints when your house shot comes back. Who knows? Like the scriptures say, we know in part, we prophesied in part. All right. And now, verse six, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore, will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. You see, and those praises goes into what? The new song that's going to be sung, you know, that we're going to sing. He's going to save us out of the land of our captivity, the Israelites, the Israel of God. You see, and we're going to sing what? Praises, praises unto our God because he saved us. Verse 7, hear, O, o Yahweh, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me, you see? So the Most High answer those that are of a contrite spirit because he searches the hearts and reins, you see? And especially the elect, you know, that's 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 whose cry he's, he's going to hear. Those that call upon his name, those that are sincere and of a, you know, of a, uh, of that are lowly and sincere about about uh, seeking him. All right, let's see verse eight. When thou say saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Yahweh will I seek. And the Most High is going to hear those people, those that seek His face, like I just said. Verse nine: Hide not thy face far from me; put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O Yahweh of my salvation. You see, and that was verse nine, and that's what we, what all us Israel, and that's what all Israel should be saying. But we know a lot of you, which are two thirds, because two thirds is a larger number than one third. You're not going to turn back to the Lord. So this is for the elect. All right, it says, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. You see. And it goes into, you know what, the Israelites that are in the truth. If your father or your mother forsake you because you're fallen out of the words of truth, out of the gospel of your salvation, screw them. It wasn't meant for them anyway. The Lord chose you, chose you out of the world. All right, Psalms 27 and 11. Teach me thy way, O Yahweh. Lead me in the path, I mean, lead me in a plain path because of my enemies, you see. And the Most High led King David in a plain path. You see, giving him what? The words of truth. Teaching him the what? The doctrine. The law, statutes, and commandments. Keeping them in the what? A righteous and perfect way. All right, let's see. Verse, verse, let's see. Verse 12, it says, deliver me not. I mean, verse 12, it says, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. You see? And that goes into what? Our people. A lot of false witnesses rise up against, have, have risen up against uh, those that want to seek the Most High. And seek Yahweh, seek Yahweh, Bahashim uh, Yahweh, you know, seek the Son of God, which through Him, seeking the Most High. You see? And it goes also into what? Our enemies too, the so-called white man Esau Edom. He's our natural born enemy and he wants to see our downfall. He wants to see us in perpetual slavery and servitude. But what he doesn't realize is that the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess it forever, like the scriptures for say. I mean, like the scriptures say. All right, verse 13. I had faint unless I had believed to unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, you see? So King David, he saw the goodness of the Lord and that kept his, his faith, that, that, that made him, that boosted his faith, you know, because the Lord preserved him, you see. And that, well, and that caused him to believe even more when he saw the goodness of the Lord. All right, verse 14, wait on the Lord, be of, a, be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, wait on the Lord, you see? And it goes into what? That's that's for the elect, the Israel of God. They're going to wait upon the Lord, you see? And the precept of that says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up 
like eagles. They shall walk and not be be weary. I mean, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint, you see? So that, that's for the elect, because the elect are going to wait upon the Lord. Because in time, he's going to come and save us from the land of our captivity. All right, we're going to end the lesson here. All right, Shalom.